hey, you're three days into a vacation, and say your kids want a game. What do you do? I'll show you. Hi folks, Old Man Grognard here, and last time we talked about packing for gaming on a vacation. We got it down to one box. Well, say you forgot, or you didn't really want to, or you couldn't, or something like that, and three days into the trip, somebody you're sitting around a hotel or something like that, and somebody says, hey, why don't you run a game? Uh, okay. Well, this is easy prep for that. Um, first thing you have to do is either have some kind of, like, we're going to talk about the electronic solution here. So if you have a laptop like I'm on right now, that's good. Or a tablet. A tablet is very good. Uh, this is my Galaxy, my Samsung Galaxy Tab 4. It's 10 inch. Mwah. And uh, this I put, I keep um, core books for a lot of my games. And I put the books, the supplements, whatever you need, even adventures. Okay, so this is really handy. And try and get one. If you're going to, if you have a tablet, try and get one. Like I said, mine's a 10.1 inch because I need it big enough to read a PDF without having to zoom in or scroll because that's a pain in the butt, let me tell you. And because, uh, and if you've got something like a Kindle, forget it. Uh, it's, if you got some of the Kindle Fires or later ones, maybe, but I'd rather have just a rock-solid tablet. And what you want to do, like I said, is you want to put on, and this goes for laptop, tablet, or whatever. And uh, what you want to do is put the core books, the supplements, any campaign stuff you can think of. And if you're not prone to carrying dice around all the time, out there in the ether... There are tons of dice rolling apps, both for Apple and for Android. So grab yourself one of those and, you know, use that. Okay? Also, the unsung hero of the trip right here is a thumb drive. If you don't have anything else, you can get a thumb drive before the trip. I always carry at least one on my person when I'm when I'm around. I always got one in my pocket. Um, I try to find one that's big enough. You you could do it with an eight gig. You know you can you can put all this stuff in an eight gig. Um, the core books is kind of hard. I don't want to go be printing all these core books while I'm out. Um, so I would want the tablet back up. This is very handy for several reasons. Um, one, you can put uh, supplements and things on it, as you know. But also, character sheets, character sheets, character sheets. I got all my character sheets on here. I've also got character sheets on here. Which is good, because if you need character sheets, there are several ways you can do it. You can stop at a Kinko's or an Office Depot or a, or a FedEx or a Office, you know, whatever. And print stuff out there for like pennies and also it's also nice to have the it read i'm i'm all for redundancy because i put all that stuff on here too because when force comes to worse if you have the charger cord you can go in there plug this this sucker in right there onto a computer and you can get it you can get it done that way um let's see what else maps maps okay um, I don't know about hex maps. It'd be kind of harder to do, but use your tablet, use your laptop for the map. Okay, basics, basics, basics. If nothing else, if you have any graph paper, you have a compo book that's graph, you've got a, gra a sheet of graph paper, some kind of graph. I mean, I, that's nothing, that's all I use anymore. I don't use line paper, I use graph paper on everything. Uh, lay the thing down and just sketch something out on there. If nothing else, use your laptop or your uh, your tablet. I'll tell you how in a minute. Um, what else do we have? Oh, <laughs> here's one easy way to do it. Take your tablet or your laptop. I've done this 
with both. You take a sheet of paper over it and just, you know, trace what you want. And that brings me to another subject about where to get maps and things. Say you want maps, you're, you're sending them down some kind of hole you thought up at, at the spur of the moment, or you're using charts to, you know, to roll stuff as you go. And you need some kind of a, you can either do a, you can either do a dungeon generator, that, but that's a pain in the butt. I always like to come something before. That's where your buddy, the internet comes in. You can go on the internet, find whatever map you need or will work, and you can either get it printed out or just like say, put a piece of paper up there, trace it. Easy peasy, right? Put a piece of graph paper up there, even better, if you can get it the right size. Um, and also take advantage of things like, you know, that's an expense. Take advantage of things like if you're staying in a hotel, practically every hotel I know of has something called an office center or office department or something like that. Places where, where business people can go to like, you know, check something on the internet, print things out, um, collate and staple or whatever you can do. And usually it's free for the guest. And if it's not free, uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. What you use it for is going on the internet, looking for stuff. Um, and you use it for printing out character sheets. Um, usually it's free depending on how many you want. Um, then sometimes they're just like, yeah, go ahead. You know, um, where I stayed at the Marriott last time at North Texas RPG Con, and they had an office center, and you can get the first 20 copies free of anything. After that, it's like, what, five cents a sheet, 10 cents a sheet, something like that? Yeah, it's a little pricey, but, you know, you're, you're at a hotel, you're at a con, and, you know, and I don't need more than 20 sheets of anything anyway, so uh, do that. So what do we got? We got laptop, we got tablet, we got thumb drive, we got all the core books on there, supplements, any kind of campaign stuff which to me is optional, you know, um, any kind of adventures you want to put on there. Um, I've got the entire run of Dungeon Magazine, when it was in the print run of Dungeon Magazine, on uh, this fella right here, so I can pull up those, um, and I can always adapt. I've got a lot of PDFs of the original, you know, TSR stuff or anything else that you can think of, any magazines that could help. You know, you want to come up with an idea. Um, oh, yeah, I remember that thing I ran for the other group. Okay, we'll do that. Fine. Go for it. Okay, well, that's what I got for electronics on the trip. And some of this I know is kind of bonehead stuff, you know, gaming 101 thing if you're up on electronics. But, hey, had to do it. So, why don't you guys tell me about this or talk to me for about any other reason at oldmangrognard at gmail.com. So until next time, after my vacation, buh bye bye.